certain physical skills, aquatic therapy may be just the right thing to try. Red Door Pediatric Therapy offers this kind of therapy, and today we get to learn what makes it so effective. Physical therapist Amanda Weiss is joining us this morning. Good morning to you, Amanda. Hi. Hello. Tell me about the aquatic therapy and why it is so important to, to get a yeah. child that needs that kind of help. So aquatic therapy is just intervention completed in the pool at a therapy therapeutic temperature of 83 to 88 degrees. And then also with the, the, us being in the water, we use those principles of water. So buoyancy, viscosity, and hydrostatic pressure. So buoyancy is just the property of water that helps us float. And then viscosity is the force that makes us move slowly in water, which is really important because sometimes our kids just move super, super fast and have a hard time controlling that movement. And so in the water, we're able to slow down and focus on certain components of a skill that they have a hard time. And then hydrostatic pressure is the pressure the water exerts on our body when it's immersed. So um, giving us that resistance. So if we move slow in the water, then that's gonna be a, like a mild resistance. And then if we're gonna move fast through the water, that's just more resistance working against our body. What an interesting idea mm -hmm. that just slowing things down right. can really help to break down those movements. Now there are certain types of skills that you can practice in the water during this aquatic therapy. Can you break down some of those? Yeah, so sometimes skills that are hard, such as jumping, walking, or squatting down to pick something up, we can work slowly on those in the water. So for instance, jumping is a component that has many aspects to it. So we have to focus on bending those knees and then straightening them up with enough force to come up off the floor. And then we also have to focus on keeping those feet together. And that's just a lot sometimes for kids. And so if we are able to slow down that one component, say they can't keep their feet together, we focus on that in the pool, we get that muscle memory and more improved strength. And then on land, we're more confident. We know what that skill is supposed to feel like and we can conquer it on land after we work on it in the pool. Yeah. Now I would imagine that things look a little different in the pool as mm -hmm. opposed to regular physical therapy. How, how does it look different? Yeah. So. On land, we work more on like that stretching and that muscle, but we can also work on those in the pool. And so water is beneficial in that aspect because it takes gravity out of the equation. And sometimes kids just have a hard time moving against the force that's always pushing down on us. And then as well, water provides like 360 degree support. And so we always know where our body is, which can help with body awareness. Body awareness, sometimes kids are like running into stuff, tripping over our feet, and we just aren't quite sure where our body is moving in space. And so the water helps us slow down and focus on where we are, which can help transition to better body awareness on land. Another point that you guys seem to focus on with aquatic therapy is working on endurance training. I wouldn't have thought that that's something you could do in the pool, but could you tell us about it? Yeah. So for instance, on land, if we stop working, we're done working. We're not using our muscles. We just sit down and take a break. But in the water, if we're gonna take a break, we're still in that water and we're still constantly working because you can't just sit down in the water. You have to continue to work on those core muscles to keep an upright posture. Very okay. Is, is there an age that's too young to be working in the water or why, at what age do you start to, having these kids do this aquatic therapy? You know, right now, just for those like walking and jumping and transitionary skills, I would say our youngest kiddos right now are around that three-year-old age okay. because we are working on walking. We are working on those coordination skills of jumping and throwing and stairs. And then just those transitions of squatting down to pick something up or sitting on the ground and having to stand up. So I would say our youngest age right now is around three and then we work on any age above that, yeah. Okay, so we're starting to get an idea of what these therapy sessions look like, but tell us more about them. What do you guys do during them and where do you hold them? Yeah, so it's really, really fun to play in the water. We have all sorts of toys. We bring lots of flotation toys, so noodles, and then we have some swim boards that we can use and some balls and throw toys into the pool to work on those kind of skills. 
We are currently holding our aquatic sessions at the Bismarck YMCA and they have a really great setup. So at one end, they have some floating lily pads that help us work on strength and balance. And then also they have a basketball hoop, which is just a fun way to work on eye hand coordination and then upper extremity coordination. And then at the other end, they have a kind of like a playground. So they have some stairs and a slide to go down. And so those stairs are great to work on that coordination and strength. And then the slide's just a fun way to work on core strength. Because if we don't have our core strength, we're just gonna fall backwards, but we have to keep an upright posture to go down that slide. Right. Amanda, I would imagine if aquatic therapy is anything like kids just playing in the pool, you have a hard time getting them out of the yeah. water. Yeah. So <laughs> what a great way for them to be learning and growing at the yeah. same time. Amanda, tell us where we can find Red Door Pediatric Therapy. You can find Red Door at our three locations in Bismarck, Minot, and Grand Forks. And for contact information, you can call our main line at 701-222-3175. What a great thing to know mm -hmm. how much fun it can be yes. while also working on some of these skills exactly. for your children. That's great. Amanda Weiss, thanks so much for joining us today. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we're going to take a short break, but stay with us. North Dakota Today will continue right after this.